It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another VR video. Today's video is the first one that I'm recording while I am now in Germany. So I'm recording on a laptop, hence you can see that I have had to lower the resolution a little bit on my Rift. Um, I'm working at uh, 0.7 times resolution, so 70% of what it should look like, which is very difficult and you can see I'm still not getting a perfect frame rate. I am working on a 1650 right now on my, on my laptop. Maybe I'll start building my next uh, new computer coming up soon. Um, here while I'm here, uh, but otherwise I um, I shall probably be recording on here with some slightly lower resolutions for a little while. Now today's video is about strength manipulation. As you can see, I can lift things, and I can't really lift them perfectly. Like it's not it, it's not you know it's not a typical game. You can see it is a it is thanks to the uh, the usual physics based stuff. And you can see I'm able to sort of lift stuff, but with one hand it's clearly quite slow. So right now I'm just going to lift it full speed, and you can see it barely even lifts off the ground. You can see one more time, I just about lifted it. And uh, of course with two hands I am able to lift it a little bit faster, but when I throw it, you can see it doesn't go very far. Now, if I grab this here weight, We'll move it in front of this camera a little bit. Here we go. You can see when I lift it with one hand, I get absolutely nothing coming off of that. Uh, we'll move it a little bit further over here. You can see in this camera. Trying to lift it, nothing happening. Let's move it over to this side here, and you can see with two hands, I am able to lift it up quite high. Oof but not much more than that. Hop over to these guns as well. Whoops. Grab that. And you can see, of course, the usual stuff. You can see the recoil. In slow motion. And uh, that's the usual function, of course when we're working with normal sort of human value, uh, variables, home, human values. You can see uh, the guns, they are a little bit less recoily than before. Uh, that's because I've increased the strength of my hands a little bit. And of course, that goes for climbing as well. So things like climbing, and you can probably see this in the last video as well, where I sort of have to manage my climb a little bit by uh, sort of pulling myself up with one with two hands if i do it with one hand you can see i'm trying right now to lift my hand i can't lift my body up i have to use two hands to increase my acceleration going up and then i can while i'm just holding just about keeping my uh, my height i can use my other hand then to grab the next area however that changes because one of the reasons that i wanted to get into physics based vr one of the things that inspired me heavily was actually crisis now, I always wanted Crisis in VR, but in order to do that, you'd have to ma have something that feels right when managing your uh, nano suit. So obviously you could do stealth quite easily, cloak mode, real easy. But when you do something like strength or even speed, that's all pretty much the same stuff. And that is actually managing your, your ability to lift things and push on things using physics. So I have here a can of spinach, which uh, is unlabeled right now. I'll uh, think of a good name for it later on. And this is something that I made a few weeks back, actually a few months in, in fact, um, part of this uh, part of this project. Um, and I think you know what the reference will probably be. Da 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 da. -da. Oh, let me try that again. Yep. Da 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 da. Also. Maximum strength. Right. And now, of course, I can grab things and nice and easily lift them even with one hand. Woo. Nice and easy. And you can see that throw strength is massively increased. So this is really cool because it's allowed me now to actually just increase the arm strength nice and easily. And as a result, everything changes. Suddenly, I feel 
legitimately stronger. Now, you don't see any physical changes. My arms are still probably thinner than any real human being. However, on this end of things, I can grab something with one hand and perfectly and easily lift it up. Super duper easy. And of course, with two hands, it's even cooler because now I can literally grab this like so and actually fight with it. Look at this. Uh, he looks a bit funny because obviously the rest of his body is not made for this kind of movement. As you can see, I'm still using my older version of Project DX um, where I haven't really done my new tweaks. So that has yet to be seen by you guys. Yeah, it looks really funny when I'm doing that from third person. But uh, yeah, I have been completely rewriting this system and you still haven't seen it yet. Uh, I'll show you that very soon. Let's have a look at guns. Bum, bum, bum. As you can see now, literally no recoil. Look at my ability to throw things as well. Massively increased. It's literally lodged up there. That one hit the ceiling nearly. It's massively changed my ability to move. And of course, with climbing as well. Now, of course, while I'm holding with one hand, you can see I'm just able to really swing myself. Rah, boom, boom, boom. You feel like Venom at this point, or the Hulk. Just jumping around, and of course, same with this thing here. If I climb here, rah, rah, I feel like a real strong guy. Rah. You just grab this and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> Right, and of course these things, this table, I've made them very, very heavy. And even with the full strength mode, yeah, you can still lift it. Nice and easy. Yep, that's the coolest part. It's so incredible that all I can do, all I needed to do was change a single value. And suddenly, the whole game has changed. Everything's changed. My ability to physically move things, my ability to... Even in slow motion, my aim has increased. My aim has increased because my ability to accelerate while in slow motion. So this is me in real motion. Now this is me in slow motion. You can see my hands flying off a little bit. A little bit of physics needed there. But you can see now I have more control in slow motion. Um, even though we're, we're at like sort of 0.1 times the speed this is 10% of reality and as you can see because I have much more force strength I can accelerate much quicker which means in slow motion I can move more like real motion like non slow motion it's really quite incredible it just makes you feel massively strong anyways so that is strength manipulation and of course uh, I do apologize for the lower resolution today and possibly even the lower frame rate um, it is one of those things that I have to deal with for a little while. My first week at Ubisoft has been pretty, uh, pretty damn awesome. We get to play games as part of the job. I'm sure you probably guessed that though. I can't tell you what the project is. I can't tell you the time frame. I can't tell you anything about it. And I can't even tell you what I'm doing there. So, that's that. I will tell you though, that when I'm done with it, you'll be able to play the game. <laughs> I'm sure you figured that out. Bye-bye. Yeah, anyway, so that's the end of this video. Um, yeah, I don't normally finish it like that, so I just wanted to, you know, be normal a little bit. Finish it like a normal, normal one of my videos. Uh, grab this. Where is it? You can see, very, very strong. Goodbye. That is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.